I'm just gonna say this now if there's ever a time where you don't see videos posted um, from the Florida Maquis for a few days or a week or whatever it's gonna be more than likely because I lost my mind in Publix because I swear to God I swear right now if I go into my local Publix and I see one of these twinks laying down between me and the boar's head counter we're gonna have a problem they better hope and pray they better hope and pray they do not decide to lay down in this aisle because I will teach them a brand new definition of what an assault weapon can be because you see I studied chemistry a little bit I remember it I know how it works I know exactly which bottles to grab and I will turn the entire store into a giant poison smoke bomb and then they can have something else to piss and cry and whine and moan about. If they think taking a bullet is bad, take a lung full of sodium hypochlorite. I swear, that's just saying it now, just getting out there right now, because I'm not going to tell it, no way, uh-uh. You see, we've had this issue going on down here where Florida has revoked a bunch of, uh, <clears throat> giant air quotes here, gun permits because apparently one particular employee was supposed to log into some database and check something and he didn't because he didn't forgot his credentials I don't care why but folks you and I are gonna to have to make a decision soon about whether we're going to continue this fallacy of acknowledging that the government has the ability to license something we have a right to in the Constitution. Now, I know I'm going to catch a bunch of crap about this, like, oh, you're not a law-abiding citizen. I'm like, well, you know, I don't need a license to exercise my right to assembly, do I? Oh, wait, yes, I do. I guess I would need a permit to go gather. Do I need a license to speak? I suppose I could go stand on a corner, but if I was causing people to stand around me and that could cause a problem. I suppose they could probably get me for not having a license there too. I guess they can license anything in the in the Bill of Rights, can't they? And we need to start asking ourselves that question. Are we going to continue down this road and ignore this 800 pound gorilla in the room? Because believe me, you can take uh, paintballs and you can pull the paint out of them with hypodermic needles and you can put all sorts of chemistry inside them. See the best part about it is that you can put two innocuous things in separate paintballs and you hit somebody with the one and they're like annoyed because it's some kind of chemical but then you hit him with the second one that's the reactant, the reactant and oh boy I tell you what they're gonna wish they took a bullet when they start losing the ability to see, breathe, and feel like they're on fire at the same time. I wonder if they're going to be concerned with a sight picture with that going on. And I don't care how Billy Badass your armor is, if it starts melting on your body, you're going to cry like a baby. And like I said, you would have to be somebody who actually paid attention in chemistry class and not be so worried about social issues. And this issue with Publix has to do with this Adam Putnam guy, and he's pro-NRA. And that's the problem with, well, it's not really the problem, it's the issue they're having. Is that, supposedly, because this system wasn't able to be logged into, that there were all of these gun permits issued that... It's not that everybody that had the issue, that had them issued, would have failed. It's that they just didn't check. And, of course, it was during a time when that whole pulse false flag happened. So, of course, they're going to make it about that. But, if, you see, and this is the thing about a place like Publix, when they decided they wanted to get, into, get involved in politics and run a business at the same time, they're learning the fallacy of that. Because when you run a business, you're not going to be entitled to have a political opinion. Because when you're split 50-50 in a country like this, no matter what position you take, the other half is going to boycott you. 
and they're going to cause a problem because when this pendulum swifts, shifts back to the other side, and I'm sorry if I'm not <clears throat> staying on point like I normally do, but this really upsets me. This really, really does because this is right in my backyard. And, and I'm telling you what, I, I'm saying it again. If there is ever a time when a few days go by and you don't hear from the Florida Maquis, this is going to be the reason. And I'm sure I'll make page B or page C somewhere in the paper. You might read about it. Because I won't. I will not absolutely. No freaking way. I don't care what aisle they're in. I will find something to make their life a living nightmare. I'll figure it out one way or the other. Because you can't let you can't let bullies do this. You see, and I think this is... You know, and that just actually got into my head when I was just saying it. Of course these kids bullied Cruz. Of course they did. Because they're bullies. How do we know this? Look what they're doing to a grocery store. That just so happens to give money to somebody they don't agree with. They're literally bullying the people shopping at the grocery store. Without even knowing what side they're on. Uh, this guy here, he was getting the stuff out of the cooler and the left and the, all the gray. Yeah, that guy deserves a freaking medal for patience. Because I would, honest to God, I would find something. There would be, I'd make Gallagher look restrained. I would clean out, I swear, oh. Mm. This is because this is just, this is how bullies work. This is what they do. When they can't get their way, when they can't have a dialogue, they go into a civil place, like a grocery store, like a Publix, with a fucking bullhorn, and lay down and make everybody's life a living goddamn nightmare because they have a point they want to make. And I will, and if you're creative, if you're creative and you paid attention in chemistry and physics, and biology, you can create all sorts of quote-unquote assault weapons that have nothing to do with brass or lead or steel. And you can make someone wish they were shot. Anybody who's ever gone through NBC training in the military knows what I'm talking about. It's not pretty. I wish I would have brought up a picture of that. Because there's things ever so much worse ever so much worse but we're gonna have to have that conversation and I'm probably gonna have to start having that conversation on my patreon channel because I don't know if they're gonna allow it here to be truthful I've been uh, looking at some channels that got knocked off here and for talking about stuff like that and I think it's important I do because in the last 18 months we've seen what is it 19 states decide that it's free day recess on taking away people's rights. Ten have passed these uh, red flag laws and nine more are considering it. And so I'm going to keep it in the consciousness of people. I'm going to not let this be pushed aside by world politics or things that, you know, the mainstream media likes to cover. We're going to stay on point. Because this is what it's going to boil down to. You're going to have to understand that we cannot allow any government to believe it has the ability to subvert the Constitution with laws. It's two different arguments. They put those things in there prior to passing one law. All of those men signed that piece of paper knowing very clearly what it meant. That they were retaining unto the people the right to determine their own course regardless of what happened in that building. And I guess I will leave it there. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys. Like, share, subscribe.